Hello there. Today I'm going to demonstrate this trumpet for you. Uh, it's a trumpet that I built over the course of several years. It's, um, it's an experimental prototype based on several different instruments that, um, that I had the uh, opportunity to examine. And, uh, but before I demonstrate, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mark Erdman. I'm an art conservator specializing in three-dimensional objects. I restore and conserve um, historic artifacts, decorative arts, and uh, artistic objects. Uh, I have a degree in restoration and conservation of fine metalwork, and for that degree I did uh, thesis research on historic trumpet making techniques, um, and part of that uh, thesis was um, building a replica of the Inventions Trumpet by Missenharter. There are two such instruments in the Germanisches National Museum in Nuremberg. I had the uh, privilege of examining the trumpets, taking measurements, and uh, doing a full-scale drawing. I also was able to visit a number of museums in England and Scotland. Um, where I examined some English slide trumpets and also some German Baroque trumpets. Um, I also have a master's degree in trumpet performance. Although I'm not currently a professional musician, I, um, I, I, did, I did the master's degree in performance. I had a strong interest in early music, uh, which accounts for my um, later um, studies in uh, trumpet making. Uh, but for my, for my master's in performance, I did a thesis on the trumpet music of Heinrich Schutz. Uh, so this trumpet that I'm gonna demonstrate, um, as I mentioned, I built it over the course of several years. The first part, uh, the body of the trumpet, is um, a loose replica of the body of the Missenharder orchestral trumpet from the late 19th century. Um, Normally, that, that trumpet has a bell that ends about here, and the, that trumpet is pitched in F. This one with the longer bell is pitched in D, and, uh, modern D, and because of the tuning slide, it can also be pitched in Baroque D, or modern D flat. Um, a little bit about the bell section. The bell, which is removable, I'm going to set this aside. Um, the bell section actually starts here at this solder joint and um, when I first made the, the post horn, um, this part was straight. I actually bent it to form the back bow of this trumpet. Um, but a post horn is, um, is a long straight trumpet. It's uh, continuously tapering starting from the mouthpiece receiver all the way to the bell. It has a, a very wide bell throat and a smallish outer diameter of the bell rim. Because of that wide bell throat, post horns have a very warm, mellow sound. I like to describe it as a fat sound um, with the right mouthpiece and fully warmed up. Um, the low range is, is, uh, really sounds beautiful. So, um, one more thing before I demonstrate for you. Um, because uh, the action on the slide is so smooth, you can actually use it like, um, you can use it while you're playing. And if you play modern trumpet, you'll be um, accustomed to using your third valve slide. It works very, very much the same. Although I haven't put a little ring there, you can easily grab um, the bow there and just move it in and out especially when the slides are uh, oiled with some valve oil. As I mentioned, the, uh, the low range is really nice. Um, it has a beautifully sounding fundamental pitch, which you don't normally get in all, um, all Baroque trumpets, but this one does sound pretty good. I'm not fully warmed up, but I'd like to demonstrate it for you so you can hear the trumpet. Um, as I said, I'm not a practicing um, professional musician, so please don't judge the trumpet based on my abilities, but um, hopefully you can hear a little bit of how it sounds.
slightly sharp so I'm pulling it out uh, about an inch inch and a half and that will lower it about a quarter step I can um, all the way all the way back it lowers the pitch uh, full half step if not a little bit more um, and that's completely um, possible to do in um, in playing uh, you also notice that I pulled it out a little bit on my um, on my F above, um, above the, at the top of the staff, um, since that um, that partial in the harmonic series, as you know, if you play natural trumpet, is um, naturally sharp. Um, so this allows me to um, to play it um, in tune. Uh, I I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of the um, of the experimental prototype. Um, orchestral trumpet with a post horn bell. Uh, next time I hope to make a demonstration of a can trumpet or a box trumpet that I built. Um, you may be familiar with the box trumpet. Um, it's about this size. It's coiled around. It has seven feet of tubing coiled around the bell and it was um, that's also uh, the original instrument is in the Germanisches National Museum. I, um, made my own uh, replica with a few changes that I think improved it a little bit. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching.